Elections have consequences, and so does breaking the law in search of election rigging. Tina Peters sentenced today to nine years in her election tampering case. Colorado's best known election denier, the former Mesa County clerk, was defiant till the end, arguing with the judge at sentencing and bringing in a parade of fellow election conspiracy theorists to defend her. Our Mark Salinger was in court in Grand Junction where Peters laughed at prosecutors, lectured the judge, then was led away in handcuffs. Yeah, Kyle, I want to tell you a little bit about Tina Peters Day. This is the Mesa County Justice Center right here, where earlier today, Tina Peters stood in front of the judge for 40 minutes, pleading for him to give her probation, to give her a lenient sentence. So how did that go? Just down the street right here across the parking lot is the Mesa County Sheriff's Office detention facility where she is spending tonight and likely many more nights to come. Tina Peters is a hero to the people who believe her lies. But inside this courthouse, those same lies made her a felon. You are a charlatan, and you cannot help but lie as easy it is for you to breathe. A reckoning happened today in Judge Matthew Barrett's courtroom. For nearly 30 minutes, speaking directly to Peters, he made it clear that words have consequences and lies lead to prison sentences. Prison is for those folks where we send people who are a danger to all of us whether it by, be by the pen or the sword or the word of the mouth. Prison is where folks go, where punishment is what we're focused on because the crime committed is so significant that anything less would unduly mitigate the seriousness of the same. Peters granted conspiracy theorists illegal access to voting systems in her county as she searched for proof of voter fraud. Even to this day, after finding no proof of fraud, she maintains the election was stolen Your from Honor. Donald Trump and told the court she it's did nothing good. wrong. Good, good. Well, so you know what I'm saying is true. All right, let me move on. It's not funny. My life is on the line here, Your Honor. No, you're the one who's making this allegation that one, it's I think not it's an funny, allegation. and two, that I know it's true. You're saying that as if I believe you, and I did not say that. Okay. That is why oh. I made the sound because it's insulting to me for you to just put that in a record in front of all of these people that I believe something to be true. Okay. She pleaded for mercy, for probation. I don't deserve to be in prison. I can do a lot more good, a lot more good out helping people. But inside this courtroom, Tina Peters is no hero. For the next nine years, she'll be an inmate. Your reputation at this point is poor because of what you've done here and after. Your lies are well documented, and these convictions are serious. I'm convinced you would do it all over again if you could. You're as defiant as a defendant as this court has ever seen. The judge said that Tina Peters showed a complete lack of remorse and that her 40 minute speech to the judge did not help her in trying to get probation. Again, she started on this side at the Justice Center. The judge then sentenced to sentenced her to this side at the detention facility where Kyle, she is right now. A lot of legal observers thought that she was likely to get probation. Nine years is stunning. Mark, the judge said something at the beginning of a sentencing statement that was important. He said that it was not just about punishing her, but deterring others from trying to do the same thing. Yeah, he kept calling her a charlatan and that her lies had real impacts, that these conspiracy theories that she was peddling, they affect real lives. And we heard from some of those people in court today. As the judge was sentencing her, he kept going back to the fact that this isn't just a sentence for Tina Peters. It is also trying to deter anybody else, anybody else in power who is thinking about doing something similar. Mark Salinger for us in Grand Junction. Thank you, Mark.